hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to filter data by price in php so guys now i'll just show you a demo where okay so here is my two input box with the start price and end price and one simple button to search the data or your product by the price so if you want in a range slider and all please comment below so uh, we'll create a video on that so guys now let's see how it's working this let's search over here you can see from 100 to 900 it's shown the price so let me just give 500 over here search you can see that product is filtered according to this let's give 50 to 150 or 160 we will tell filter you can see that 60 and 150 products has come so that this is how we are going to make so let's get started with this okay so first we need to create two input box so before that i'm using bootstrap file to design this user interface and now let's get started with it let's create a row then column md4 simple label where start price and input name start underscore price and value you are going to give default value you will give as 100 okay and let's give a form design i mean input form control to design the input so let's copy and repaste again two times and we'll tell this as end price and this will be your button click me and replace this with the button tag beauty in button where search or you can tell filter type is equal to which will be submit and class which will be button button primary px4 save and now guys let us see the output for this so before checking that let's give end over here end price refresh you can see the output so guys, let me just break and add a form tag when we click on this the it should show, search the price let's come back be a tag and now here on the card body add a form where this form action method is equal to get and this form control x and paste below very clear and now guys when we search this the data should fetch that into our url parameters so let's check that right now 100 and make this as 900 let's filter over here you can see that start price is 100 end price is 900 let's get back so first thing we want this price to be like when i search over here 250 filter you can see that 250 has come in the parameter url but here it is different so guys let's solve this first let's take this control x use php open and close with the if condition we are going to check that else it will be echo the 100 price which we have just now pasted so what you are going to check using dollar underscore get method what you are going to get in that is nothing but this start price same which you have passed in your parameter so let's copy and paste so if it is set you are going to get that value before this else condition echo paste in double quotes that's it save and same thing you are going to copy and paste for this also not in double quotes just remove that directly you need to paste semicolon let's copy this value and paste inside this value and make sure you are giving 900 because we are want to till 900 only so it depends on your limit 
let's refresh you can see the correct value has come over here so we need this end price to fetch let's replace over here control d and replace see the output you can see it's 900 and 250 let's check with 300 and 700 filter you can see the perfect price so guys now let us fetch all the products first so i have a product table and inside this i have few product items with the price over here so 200 250 300 some more prices so let's fetch this over here and then filter according to your price detail so let's get back this is my column so my columns ends over here column md12 design a card card body card header h5 product details and inside this you are going to fetch all your products so let's start with that php start php end where dollar connection is equal to your database connection you are going to create so you we will use mysqli underscore connect function to connect the database let's type localhost the username is root password is null and my database name is php tutorials so let me copy this and paste and now guys we need to write the query dollar query is equal to select star from my table name so my table name is a products let's copy that paste and let's run this above query underscore run is equal to mysqli underscore query function so we use this function to execute the statement so before that first we have to call the database connection and then your statement or query so let's copy this and paste over here then we are going to check with the if condition mysqli underscore number of rows we are going to check if the record exists or not so at least one record it should be there so you are going to check if it is greater than zero please show the value if the value is not there inside that echo echo no record found as simple let us just check for each where you are going to call this query run as dollar items and inside this items you can echo that so let's echo items of your name of your products so my product name is name over here so inside my product table name column i'm going to call that so let's call the name and same way you need to call the price also so let's design into one box let's comment this and let's create a column md4 let's divide so divide this php and we need one row over here so let's make a simple row on this after the card body control x and paste over here that's it and now inside h5 tag i'm going to echo this condition Control x open php close php and echo same thing with the h6 price price this will be your price column save let's check this column name is correct or not price it's perfect so guys now let's load this refresh you can see all the data has come so let me just add one simple border over here border dot p hyphen two control x paste now guys i want to filter according to this price first so let us just filter that 
so how will you filter we need to check that is start price and end price is given or not let's in the if condition if it is filtered your price is filtered it should show else it should show all your products so let's cut this and paste over here simple and inside this we need to check that if it is set and again you need to check that is set function so what you are going to check dollar underscore get method of your start price save and let's copy this again and paste over here where you are going to check the end price let's copy and paste if it is set then you need to write other query so let's copy this so before copying you need to call all this so well, let's create one variable called start price is equal to which you are going to get that copy paste and same way you are going to do for the end price let's tell end price and now guys then you will paste this query where you are going to use between function into this so let's type where condition where what you are going to search is nothing but your price so this column name price so let's call that price column where i am going to use sql thing b e t w e e and between function where you are going to check with that and the columns so over here you can just put this in single quotes but we don't require because it is a integer values so we need to pass directly so let's paste that if it is a alphabetic then you can put it in single quote but it's numeric so you need to paste like this so let's save and now let us test guys get back refresh you can see it's perfectly filtered let me just assign here margin bottom 3 refresh so guys let's filter so i'm going to start with the 60 not 60 50 to 100 let's see if any product is there you can see 60 price is there now let's move to 160 you can see 150 product is there let's go to 300 filter you can see the product is filter as per the price let's increment this value where 200 to 300 cool so this is how we filter the data by price in php mysql so guys in this video that's it and if you want this pricing value in a range slider please comment below so we'll provide a tutorial soon so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share